NASA is funding the development of a revolutionary fusion engine using hydrogen isotopes that will cut travel time to Mars to 30 days. The fusion-driven rocket is being designed by a consortium comprising the University of Washington and a Redmond-based space propulsion company. The consortium won a second stage of funding from NASA's Innovative Advanced Concepts program for its revolutionary design using computer modelling and is now building a fully operational scale version for testing. It is expected that the fusion-driven rocket could be ready for use by 2020 given present funding by NASA, but could come into operation much earlier with increased funding. If NASA doesn't come up with the additional funds, then space pioneers like Elon Musk and Dennis Tito may come up with the cash to dramatically accelerate their own plans for private spaceflight to Mars. The fusion-driven rocket is based on the idea of using stored pellets of deuterium and tritium, hydrogen isotopes that respectively have one or two neutrons that are crushed together to spark the fusion process. Metal rings built out of lithium or aluminium are compressed together using magnetic forces as the pellets pass through them. In a University of Washington news release, the fusion process is described as releasing enough energy to quickly heat and ionize the shell, which is then ejected out of the rocket nozzle at a very high velocity. The process is repeated every minute or so, propelling the spacecraft. NASA describes the process as one that has minimal side effects on the space vehicle in terms of heat and stress. While NASA regards the fusion engine as revolutionary, it's worth pointing out that the concepts and technology involved are open source. That means scientists from around the world can develop their own versions of the fusion-driven rocket, which will rapidly increase the possibility that it will eventually come into widespread commercial use for space travel. Classified versions of the fusion engine have very likely already been developed and may fuel the secret spacecraft that former President Ronald Reagan mentioned in his memoirs. In his June 11, 1985 entry, he says that he had just learned that the US had the capacity to place up to 300 astronauts in space, something then not possible with the conventional space shuttle program. Like the great ocean liners of the past, space tourists will eventually pay for a ride on large fusion rockets for vacations on Mars and beyond. Thanks to the fusion-driven rocket, that may happen a lot sooner than expected.